In question 46, they tell us that this sequence is geometric. What that means is that we all, let me show you a normal geometric. Let's say we have 4, 12, and 36. That's geometric. Can we see, or let me show you that term 2 divided by term 1 is 12 over 4, which is 3. Term 3 divided by term 2 is 36 divided by 12, which is 3. So it's the same. Remember that geometric pro uh, patterns have a property that says term 3 over term 2 is the same as term 2 over term 1. We just saw that happening now over here. So whenever something's geometric, this is true. So we can say that over here. So we can say T3 over T2 must be the same as T2 over T1. You can also switch this around. It doesn't really matter. You could have it the other way. You could say T2 over T1 first. Okay, so now what we can say is X minus 8 over 2X minus 6 equals to 2x minus 6 over 9x plus 8. Now what we do is we cross multiply. So we'll end up with x minus 8 multiplied by 9x plus 8 equals to 2x minus 6 times by 2x minus 6. I'm now going to multiply out the left hand side, which would eventually give a minus 64x in the middle. Of course there's two terms, but I've just put those together and then minus 64. Then on the right hand side, you'd get 4x squared minus 24x. I'm just doing everything in one step plus 36. All right, I'm going to take everything to the left hand side. Then I'd use the quadratic formula. And so x would be 10 or x is negative 2.